I'm Dan Salzer with Plymouth State Broadcasting, and we're joined once again by Plymouth State men's basketball head coach Andrew Novick. Andrew, thank you for joining us. Sure. Thanks for being here. Coach, uh, up and down start to the to the unofficial first half of the year in the fall semester. Came in five and five uh, to Wednesday night. What the what are the positives that you take away from the first half of the year to what's going to help you in the second half? Well, I think the biggest positive is just getting some experience. You know, we we only brought in um, only had two seniors on this year's squad and uh, and a bunch of newcomers, a bunch of guys sort of trying to find their roles and so you know you kind of have to gain some experience and gain some consistency and and um, you know we had some really good wins um, we had some tough losses um, but the so sort of the accumulation of all of that gave us some of the experience that we can build upon um, you know heading into the second semester looking at Wednesday night you guys have we're looking for your first win at home this season which is always frustrating and talk to us a little bit what you changed about the game prep I understand you kind of treat it like a road game Talk to us about that stipulation and kind of now that you got the win, are you going to do that the rest of the year? Sure. You know, um, you know sometimes you just have to change the dynamic a little bit. And, and uh, I had told the guys, you know, we were 0-4 at home heading into that game. So, um, you know, why not treat it a little bit more like a road game? So we, um, uh, you know, we, our routine was more in line with what we do on the road. Um, we didn't use our home locker room. And, and um you know, I don't know if it worked or, or or didn't work, but certainly it changed the dynamic and and um, you know gave us some you know a little bit of a shift in our mentality and uh, ultimately I think it helped us a little bit uh, get the win. So on a serious note, Wednesday that great win against Linden State, you guys shot 51% from the floor, 50. 50% from behind the arc and 83% from the free throw line. What was it that was clicking so well for the offense on Wednesday? Well, I think the big part was the ball movement. Um, you know, when you're sharing the ball, you're going to have better shots. And, and when you have better shots, your shooting percentages are going to go up. And I think we did a really good job of moving the ball and, and, and sharing it. So, um, you know, our numbers were better. And, and certainly to put 91 points on the board, um, you know, I thought the big part of it was was everybody playing with each other within our, our system, and and, uh, and that really helped us. And another serious note, you got the return of Colin Sullivan, the senior captain. What does he bring to the team here in the second half of the year that was missing in the first half? Well, he's a big deal. You know, he's a big deal because he represents a lot of the intangibles that you need in order to, to bind a group together. And, um, you know, we had graduated a kid in Nate Clark and uh, and another young man in, in uh, Nick McGregor who were sort of what we would call unsung heroes. They did a lot for us. Um, they were never stat stuffers in terms of the stat sheet, but they brought a lot of the intangibles. And, you know, Colin is, is like that, and, and he's really helped us uh, develop as a team and as a program. And, and um, you know, having him back is a big deal. He brings a lot of energy, a lot of excitement, a lot of hustle, and, and um, those are the things you need, especially with uh, with a young group of players. Second half of the year means conference play, and you got a couple of big games coming up on the road this weekend at Western Connecticut State University on Saturday, and then back here at Foley Gymnasium on Wednesday against UMass Boston. What do you guys need to do, and how do you get the win against both of those teams to start climbing the standings and get a home playoff game again for the second year in a row? Yeah, you know, it's funny. Uh, this year, the league has proven to be uh, outstanding, and, and uh, there will be no uh, easy game, and we'll be tested, especially in the next two. And, um, you know, I, I think that, that the core principle is, is really making sure that we're focused on defending the, uh, well, uh, that we're focused on valuing the ball and not turning it over. And then, you know, as you saw from our shooting percentages, you know, sharing it on the offensive end. I think those three things are pretty pretty important for our success and, and um, if we can do those things then um, then we'll be in every game that we play. Well as always coach thank you for joining us best of luck this weekend on the road at Western Connecticut State University. Thanks a lot.